Hello everybody, it's another day, and it's a glorious day for a lot of different reasons. Number one, it's my birthday today. Obviously by the time I post this, it'll be long gone, but at least, I think, there we go, there we go, that's the reaction I was looking for. So, I've been living with this thing for probably two months by now. I posted several videos about it and several different repairs and different attempts and this and that. And so far, although I did manage to get this thing to stop beeping for, what, a week and a half? All right, there we go. Let it out, let it out, car. But still wasn't able to get it off here for good. So today is my attempt to do just that. I replaced the driver's side seat belt pretensioner. That did it for about a week and a half until it threw in a code for the passenger side seat belt pretensioner, which I got. I waited for it for over two weeks. Finally got that. And now today, like I said, on my birthday, I am going to see a mechanic to get it installed on the passenger side. And you know, if indeed we are successful in getting this thing off, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss this little light simply because I built my whole driving routine right around that. And what I mean by that is when I get in the car, you know, I started, I know it's gonna beep. So for example, I postpone making phone calls oh there we go there we go okay or if i know that i'm going to be receiving a phone call for example i tell them in advance uh the person who is going to call me hey you know by the way i'm going to be in the car and just so that you know my car is going to beep for a little bit as just a, i tell everyone that's just a reminder for an oil change and i don't know how to Turn, turn this thing off, so when I do get the oil change, speaking of which, how, how am I doing here? 63%, all right, not bad. Oh, well, whoops. While I'm waiting up the light, might as well run the diagnostics, right? There we go. So anyway, so I've kind of built my whole driving routine right around this light. And I tell you, you know, if this thing is gonna be fixed, I think I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna have to relearn my entire routine. Currently running at 97,433 miles. All right, so heading over to my mechanic, 3C Automotive. Let's see what happens. All right, pulling up to 3C Automotive. That, oh, and there you go, see? That's what I was talking about when I said I, uh, Try to plan my stuff around this beep. So pulling in, now what's gonna happen today, I don't know, as you guys understand these videos are not scripted. All I know is that I know what I want to accomplish today, but what's gonna happen, no clue. All right, hopefully next time I'm gonna get some good news and this beep goes away. All right, here we go. All right, so while my car is being looked at, I just found this on their backyard. Subaru Crosstrek that's been through hell and back. What, what is that? Now, I, I can't get too far away from it to kind of explore. Look at this. What in the world happened to this car? I think it rolled over. No, no, it did not. Nope. Well, the more I look at it, it did not roll over but it was definitely involved in some sort of a crazy off-road looking collision. All right, so on this side, there's not a whole lot going on. This says 20,824 miles. All right, so the rear door, something weird happened. Look at this, holy crap. And then, and then I looked on the other side, look at this. Wow, here, I can get further back up down here now I've heard of cars that has rear, rear rear wheel steering 
and I guess this is it. So that thing suffered such a huge impact. Look at the wheel. Wow. Never ceases to amaze me. So I don't know if it's went off road. I thought it rolled first, but then it didn't look like it. Although there is a piece of plastic right here, which I don't think it belongs up here, but who knows? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, well, that's why I love coming down here and just looking at cars in general. Weird, weird stuff. I hope the person is okay. All right, everybody. So as we continue to work on the seat belt pretensioner, this is my passenger seat. There it is. There is my car. And I'm going to attempt to get some of this rust out. And the passenger seat, I mean, it's nice and firm because obviously it's a lot less trafficked area. I got all my original labels and stuff. Still actually got a lot of grease in the tracks from lack of use. So, all right. So, got the metal brush, got rust remover, and I'm just gonna keep going at it. Probably have about an hour to do that. And I'm gonna try to remove some of this rust because it's driving me nuts. So here we go. All right, so going at it for about half hour. I think we've made some progress. Uh, can't focus on that part, but there it is. And then kind of wrapping up right here. Very tedious. I mean, look, look what I did to a new brush after all. A new brush was getting destroyed because of this. That it's all, it's all worth it, so gonna keep at it. And that's what my car looks like in the meantime, without the seat. I mean, that's a shame that a car that's not flood damaged or anything has so much rust just everywhere. If I had all day, I would just sit here and keep taking all that rust off. But at some point, the reality sets in and I just have to accept the fact that, look, even the carpet rusts. Look at that, man. Oh, just have to accept the fact that I will have rust on this car. Oh, so be it. I still love it though. But although the inside is rusty, this is, this is my battle right here. And I think I won this one. Uh, let's see. Just got to work a bit on the inside. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of left, a little bit of right. And then probably just going to keep working on these for the time being because taking a little break here. But man, I love how this seat is all nice and not worn. Although it's got a few creases. But... You know, nothing, nothing major. And this is the culprit. This is the original seat belt pretensioner that got pulled out. It's got a little different color plastics here than the one that I got as replacement. And I'm not sure if, well look, oh look at all the fuzzies in there from the seat belt going back and forth for 14 years. Look at that. So I guess, I'm guessing the problem is with these is this sensor or possibly this connector. But anyway, and here's the question. How do these rust? Like, why is this bolt rusted? Like, really? It's inside the car. It's not even on the floor. What is going on here? <laughs> or are you telling me that the car flooded up to the window line or something? I just think that Ford used really cheap bolts. Like, I can't imagine. Come on. There you go. I just can't imagine this being the case. And it looks like this is why they include a little decorative piece 
as part of the packaging because as soon as you start messing with this, it rips off. So, oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. This is what sits on the floor. All right, never mind. It's that what sits above the window line. See, I made a mistake. So this is fine. But still, you know, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't think my car has been flooded. I really don't. But yet, it's still rusty. So, oh, it is really hot. So anyway, I hope that this will resolve the beeping. Still got to do a few things on the seat. And we'll take it from there. And this is the buckle. Or the lockable part. There's the part number in case if anybody wants to replace it. There's a date code right there. September 30th or September 3rd of 06. Which does match this car. I wonder... I'm starting to wonder if this is sun damage or this is just people who used to buckle up before me. And look, it, it actually does look like it's falling apart a little bit. Like, I don't know if it should be doing that. So look at this, it's actually... Hmm. Well, here's the connector. In case if anybody wants to do this themselves, but I highly advise you don't do that yourself. Because it's a giant pain. So, it's been uh, going at it for about... I don't know, an hour and a half at this point. So get a mechanic to do it for you. So guys, I am test driving my car right after the repair. I don't know if it was fixed yet, but look at this. Just look what I just freaking found. Look, this is what I'm talking about. This is the awesomeness of a town car. Look at that. There's a little peekaboo right there. Mm, 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 mm. I am in heaven, guys and girls. The few girls that are watching. 2.3% of you. Uh, signature series. Nice. I don't know. What is this? 90 to 97? I don't remember these things off the top of my head. But holy crap. So it, this proves that there are still people out there who like these things and maybe if they don't even like them but at least they drive them oh, a little faded paint that's a given signature series mm. yeah so you see as I'm driving around making sure that my uh, airbag thing is fixed look at that isn't this the most wonderful thing I think at this point this is like a third one or maybe a fourth one that I found it's got leather seats no moonroof probably somebody's gonna come out of their house right about now asking me why am I filming their car but it's okay because that's what I live for and wow all right well so here I am heading back to my car and he ran the codes, there's no codes anymore, no uh, no airbag, whatever, sensor, pretensioner. It's running nice and smooth. And look at this. Holy moly. Do you remember seeing a little white bag there? That was beeping very obnoxiously and making my life miserable. It's not there anymore. All right. And it's all because of this stupid thing. Okay. Well, it's in the shade, so there you go. All right, so I'm gonna buckle up. Which, by the way, so now I got two matching buckles right there. There's one, there's two. All right, Let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? I, I get a beep again and again, and then I'll have to go back again and again. <laughs> All right, turn it around, turn it around. Goodbye, Lincoln Town Car. I love you. Wow. Guys, I'm gonna miss not having that beep. That beep was part of my life for two months. Oh, 
Look at that. Look at that. I filmed those Buicks. I know these Buicks. There's a video about these Buicks. Man, it's all it all comes together. So guys, for right now, it is fixed officially. Now I have a few errands to run. So I'm going to be turning on and off the car for the next, I don't know, hour or so. I'm going to visit a few stores. And if that thing doesn't come back, that will be it. Now, with all fairness, when I replace the driver's side, it hasn't come back for, you know, two weeks. <laughs> and then it came back. So I don't know. All right, stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. I ran my errands. I turned the car on and off probably three, four times in the last, I don't know, hour or more. I don't know. I'm driving home. And I don't have any lights. I don't have any beeps. It is a wonderful day. And today is my birthday, as I stated in the beginning of my video. And I couldn't have a better birthday gift than this. At least as it comes to cars. I know there's some uh, other gifts that are in the works for me later in the day. But as far as my car goes, this, this uh, car couldn't have given me a better present than just not have the beep. Now, I'll be honest with you, I, I, think, I think for the first few weeks, I'm gonna be like, where's the beep? Where's the beef? And where is the beep? And I don't know. I don't know where anything is anymore. But at least for the time being, this project is over now if it comes back I don't know I, I have some thoughts about what to do if it ever comes back because like I said the first time it was only temporary rejoice but if that ever happens I don't know I'll think of I'll think of something but for the meantime you know if you're uh, watching this if you like this content I appreciate all your comments likes and subscribes I'm by no means an expert and cars or history of cars or Lincoln Town cars or nothing. I'm not an expert. I'm an amateur at best. But I enjoy making these videos. I'm glad I got this car. I do have some other projects in the, in the works as far as keeping uh, you entertained and keeping myself entertained and happy. Uh, I don't know what those are just yet. I just uh, have, you know, some rough ideas. But in general, let's keep that Lincoln Hood ornament up and high. Let's keep liking, subscribing, and commenting. Thank you so much. Hasta la vista, old seatbelt pretensioner kit.